Welcome back to my channel. Uh, I've been trying all weekend to get some videos done and I've done several videos. It's just they were not the greatest. So I figured let's try something simple. Let's get this try to get a video out today and hopefully everything goes well. If not, you know what? I'm going to post it anyway because these are real life scenarios, right? So um, these are the tag that um, stamp and dies from Crafters Companion. Um, I have these two and I also have a snowman, but we're just going to work with these two guys today. I had made this one before I showed it, but I never made it online because for some reason the stamp gave me an issue. But um, we're going to try it again, um, try to resolve any problems that we can have and uh, see how it goes. It could be my platform. It could be the stamp. I don't know. It's just, it gives me an issue. And um, since they're acrylic stamps, you really can't press hard on it because then it smushes the ink out. Uh, we're going to be using the Triblin markers from Crafters Companion along with their ink, which is the alcohol proof um, dye. Um, remember, if you're going to use alcohol markers, you have to use a water base ink if you're using watercolor then you're going to use an alcohol based ink it's just um alcohol can't move the water and water cannot move the alcohol so always pay mind to that if you're new if you're not new you know what i'm talking about and um that's what we're gonna do okay so i i was gonna put them all down and stamp them but because i always have a hard time with these guys i'm just gonna stamp them one at a time and see how that goes um we're gonna start off with the penguin and we're just gonna ink this guy up and stamp him out okay Now you see it's not grabbing any of the top part of thigh, I mean the stamp. So we're just going to have to push a little bit and if it smushes, it smushes. And for some reason, the top of this little guy is not taking. Hmm. You know what? We're going to put a little piece of cardboard. I mean, a cardstock. Put it underneath the part that's giving me a hard time. And we're going to try again. Almost. you see what i mean it smushes and if you look at the stamp there's let's see if i can there's like a whole section missing if you look at it there's a piece missing there i i don't know what to do with these things anymore Anyway, let, let's continue. I guess we'll make do with what it is. Uh, I thought it was my platform, but no, there's obviously it's it's not something happened in production. It's not made right. See, that one is better. One more time. Okay. That's good. Now let's get to the our reindeer. And I'm not even going to edit that out. I think it's important um, for everyone who's watching. If they have these same issues, know that you're not alone. There's, there's sometimes that these 
and here we go again and if you look at the stamp it there is a section that's lower and uh, trust me i'm not bashing crafters companion i i buy a lot of their their stuff it's just you know when you start purchasing stuff that has more issues <clears throat> than normal uh, you have to worry about um their quality control okay so we're stamping the last one and again that edge that part is lower than the rest of it. Oh boy. I shouldn't have to put cardstock in order to get a pretty crappy image, but okay. Whatever it is, what it is. Let's continue, make the best of it. Let's see how we can kind of camouflage that a little bit. We'll see. Okay, so we're going to start coloring these guys. And I'm going to start with the penguin jazz because I have all the grays out already. Um, I won't use black on it because <clears throat> it kind of takes away, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm going to pause for a second. Please forgive me, my voice is starting to go just a little bit. I need to get this out though, so I'm going to continue. Until it totally leaves. <laughs> then I'll add music to it. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to put some um, light gray and that's really just to add a base layer. And now we're going to add our shadows. And just be very careful around his little face. Okay, then we're going to come back with our mid-tone, which will just blend that out a little bit more. And then we're going to use a lighter tone. So you see, it just blends it out and, and gives it more of a, like, natural highlights and stuff. And again, you can always come back with your darker tone if you want to add just a little bit more. And then repeat the whole process. That's light. So let's go with the dark. These are the ice gray blends, but it's um, the lighter tones, which is one, I think it's yeah, four and five, but then I have eight in the regular um, markers. So we're just adding some more color. Let's blend those out. And we can always come back with our darker tones. I'm going to finish coloring um, the gray and then I'll be right back. 
Okay, so we did all the gray, and now we're going to go ahead and maybe color his um, scarf. And we're going to do that a blue. So. Let's color that up. Again, doing the same thing. Light, medium, and dark. And we're using the true um, blue blend. And that's true blue um, two, three, and four. So. Let's go ahead and color this guy up. Midtone. And just to soften it a little bit. And now I'll go with that light. Okay, and now we'll go and do the same thing to the other side. Oh, I got to do his little arms. And we're going to do the same exact thing. Don't worry if you go over a little bit, come back with your blender pen and just get the most of it out. And if it's too dark, then you can always go in with your white gel pen and that'll just eliminate those oopsies you don't have to throw it away just because you went out of the line a little bit and we're just gonna okay now we're gonna do a couple of pieces here on his hat Let's do all of this blue just to tie in the blue. Normally I would do the little pom-pom on the top white, but I think because we have all those issues. We're just going to go ahead and maybe do a blue to try to camouflage a little bit of it. Do the best we can. That's all we can do. And we'll try to make it as dark as we can. Okay. So that's that. And then our second color would probably be red. And let's just go ahead and fill all that in. We could have done green also. And I'm sticking to those dark colors because of all that ghosting. Let's fill all that in. And now we'll do our shading. So it's the same routine. So I'm just going to pause it right there. Uh, finish coloring the hat. And then we'll be back to do his face and his little feet. And then maybe cut him out. And then we'll move on to our reindeer. 
We'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. We're gonna do his feet yellow. And we're gonna we're using the light yellow blend. And just attempt to shade some of that out. <laughs> Can't really tell they all look like okay so um for his beak we're gonna do orange blend and this time i'm just gonna use two colors i don't think we need three colors in such a small area okay so that's his beak, and then um, the white area of his body, I'm just going to put a little bit of blue just to add a little bit of um, shading. And I'm going to blend it out a little bit with, um, with my blender pen. I can find it. Okay, so I may have to pause to find the blender pen. <laughs> Be back. Okay, I'm back. I found it. I, I have a small area and I have all my markers in a drawer. So sometimes you just got to dig stuff out. I dream of the day of having a craft room where I can organize everything better. Okay. So that's all we're going to do is just to add a little bit of color to him. You probably can't even really see it, but I know it's there. Um, so that's good. And then we're going to add a teensy bit of um, pink to his cheeks. Because of course, if he's outside, he's going to have pink cheeks. And we'll do it with a dark tone. Okay, so that's our little guy done. And you can always touch the stuff up if it bugs you. Like um, this edge right here. That's all preference. Um, you can fix it however way you want. Now, what I was saying about um, these dark areas, if it's such a dark color, the likelihood of you getting it all out is almost not going to happen. Especially if it's just such a, a small area. But if you go in, see right here, if you go in with your gel pen, you can make that disappear too. Just by dabbing on some dots. So that looks better already. Now, before we um, cut him out, I want to add a sentiment. And we are going to use, let's see what it says here. Um, happy Christmas, warm winter wishes. I think we're going to do warm winter wishes. So we're going to stamp it out. So that way when we cut it, it's already there. And we don't have to worry about it. Okay, so let's get our platform. You guys that make videos, have you noticed that when you're on a video, you tend to your words a little bit <laughs> okay all right let's put this guy in and then we're going to use our versifying onyx ink just because it looks better and i don't want to fuss with um the other inks and i think that's good i don't think we need to do anything else for that and now we're just going to cut it out and then we can add some color to it to you know make the illusion that it's um it's a layer instead of just um stamped right onto it so let me cut this part out so we don't ruin the other side and then cut this guy should have done this from the beginning but Okay. All right. 
So we got him out and we're gonna use his die. Okay, so you just have to lay the die on and match it up and then use um, some tape to secure it. I'll be right back. My husband is coming down. Okay, so we went ahead and die cut these guys. Now, the interesting thing about these dies, I mean, not interesting, but it's kind of cool, is that they make it so you can make the tags as long as you want there's no cut side here so um you decide the size you want now the only bad thing that i found with um this specific one was that i should have die cut the back before stamping it because um let me see where i put it so i could explain a little better where is it? <laughs> okay. Let me find it. I'll be right back. Okay, it was stuck to my plates. Anyway, what I noticed is when, I mean, when I first did the, the reindeer, either way you stamp or place it, it was able to cut out fine. So you could just stamp them both out, color them. But with this guy, you can't do that. So I, I ended up having to flip it. And luckily, since it is alcohol inks, you can just um, guess where it would go. So that's where I got to here. Okay. So now we're going to cut this little guy down. Oops, sorry for the noise. So we're going to do one side at a time. Just because I don't want to goof. And I think I'm going to want it just about there. Which means we need to just nip this. But then we're going to come with our corner rounder. And round these guys out so it doesn't make a difference. Really how much. Um, how much you cut here. Because it's going to be rounded off. Now you can always glue this before cutting it, which I'm just going to trim it down a little bit. And I think that's what I'm going to do just to get a more even cut. Let's glue this guy down. Make sure you get everything. And then we're going to make it look um, a little more fancy, a little more pretty. Okay, so we have that. And then we can go ahead and trim these guys off. And just a little bit more. <clears throat> up <clears throat> and um, we're good to go there and then let's get this guy out of the way just to clear some space so this is what we have so far we have our tag all the way done with the warm winter wishes and now we could just um color that up a little bit but let me find my corner rounder uh, I'll be right back with that okay found my corner rounder <laughs> I don't know I, if you guys have a small space I'm pretty sure you're going through the same thing just to find one thing you have to like take apart all your drawers so we're going to corner around these guys Oop. and that's what we have now I want to add some glitter to it maybe and maybe we'll get a marker and just go around the edges like i did with my previous one 
let's do that part first. And I think the marker that we're going to use is going to be the um, sky blue. And we're going to lightly go around the edges. It's just to make it stand out a little more. You can also do this with um, Distress Ink. But I don't feel like doing that. So let's go around the whole thing. It is raining cats and dogs out here. Okay, so we have that. Can't see it much, but um, it's there. You can see it. And then we're going to add some sparkle. I love just adding a little bit just to. If you have this on, like under your Christmas tree or whatever. Just so, so I can add, um, cat, catch the light. You just find just a little bit. See? And you can go ahead and do that down here also. Just scatter them around. Come back and you can put some more. And some up here, some up here, and there we go. Now, to finish it off, we can just bring our um, glossy accents. And I'm going to fill this up a little bit just to get rid of that little ghosting, just to camouflage it a little bit more. And then maybe we're going to put some on the beak just so it could stand out. And I think um, that's it. Here's our tag. And of course, we'll do the same thing to the other side, but now we have to wait until it dries. Here's our tag. And if you move it around, you can see all the little sparkle and shine. So you just add a little bit more to your project. Just with those simple little things. I don't think we're going to do the reindeer today because this video is already at 27 minutes. I don't want to keep you guys on for long. Such a small project took a long time to make. But then again, I paused a lot and I apologize for that. Any hoot. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. I hope you have a great week. And um, I'll catch you soon, okay? Have a great one. Bye.